getting into our second conversation of the day. And uh, in studio today, we have Chris Hrunling. Um, He is the dealer principal at MMG Toyota Queenstown. And we're going to be talking running a successful vehicle dealership. Chris, um, let me welcome you and uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much and thank you for inviting me and thank you for the opportunity to to tell the listeners a bit about ourselves. All right. Um, and I think, you know, right on that note, um, let me give you an opportunity to tell us about MMG Toyota and um, maybe also touch on MMG. What does that mean? Because people will be like, is just Toyota. Um, so you are MMG Toyota Queenstown and, you know, what kind of products and services do you guys offer? Okay, we uh, we were privately owned until about three years ago okay. when the Mortimer Motor Group um, bought the, the dealership from the previous owner. Okay. So the name MMG comes for its abbreviation for Mortimer Motor Group. Okay. And the reason why they did was that was we we consist of a total of about thirty dealerships. Mm. Um, various other brands as well. Um, under MMG. Under MMG. Sure. So, uh, you know, the, the four division, for instance, was called something else mm. and the other division. So uh, they decided to to grant Group everything, everything under Mortimer Motor Group mm. and they started, you know, with the name MMG, mm. which stands mm. for Mortimer Motor Group. So. Every dealership will be MMG Toyota Queenstown, MMG Toyota Ladysmith, etc. In mm. all the towns that we are, all the Located. dealers are known as MMG and the town. Oh, wow. Interesting. I didn't know about that. I did, though, um, notice the change quite recently, mm. which makes sense if you're saying it's, it's been there for three years uh, or, you know, that the, the change happened about three years ago. Um, and as, as MMG Toyota Queenstown, what does one get? Except for whenever people think about Toyota, they just think about cars. So <laughs> you sell cars. What else do you do? Well, we offer the same services as what every car dealership Offers. offers were supposed to offer, <laughs> namely new vehicle sales, used vehicle sales, mm -hmm. uh, part sales, service, um, mm. uh, everything that we also offer in house financing. Okay. Um, we've got two qualified ladies that deals with the financing. Okay. Um, so the whole package, everything Every a car dealer should offer, we offer. <laughs> I like what you're saying, should, um, but I also li like the fact that, you know, we, we must not assume uh, because should uh, doesn't necessarily translate to you do actually offer it. So we want clarity in terms of what we can be able to get from you. And, you know, talking about new vehicles, when people go into a dealership to buy a new car, um, you know, the excitement is always really at a high level, you know, I mean, you're going to get a new car, whether it's used or whatever, but you're going to get a car such that it can literally get the excitement can get to your head. Um, what advice would you give to people um, to prepare themselves when they're going to go and, and at least get a car um, so that they don't allow the, the, the excitement to blur their, their, their decision making and, you know, a person. I remember a friend of mine once um, bought two cars. They got to the dealership. They were excited. They, she was with her husband. They bought two cars. Next thing they realized they can't even, you know, they're going to be too tight. They had to let go of the other one, you know, things like that. So what advice would you give to someone looking for a car? I think the most important thing before you even get to a dealership okay. is you must decide... 100% what you can afford. So okay. you must have a budget. Mm. Um, I think all of us would like to to fly around in aeroplanes, but very <laughs> few of us can afford it. Okay. Um, so I think the most important thing is determine a budget. Sure. See what you can, what you're comfortable with. Bear in mind that it doesn't end by the instalment and insurance. Mm. Um, insurance is very important. Sure. Um, if you finance a vehicle, it's compulsory, first of all. So, yeah. so you need to bring insurance into your budget. Mm. So maybe do a bit of homework. Talk to your broker. Say, I'm in, interested in a vehicle. Give me an indication of more or less what my insurance is going to cost. Okay. Because... Uh, you know, you come with the expectation that I want to buy a double cap, mm. um, 
but you don't realize what it's going to cost you. Mm. Um, and I think that sometimes creates a bit of disappointment it when does. people realize this it's is my dream, but it's actually not what I can do. So I think mm. make sure before you decide to buy, How think, much think very afford? carefully of what you can afford. Mm. And then I think go to a dealership and say, this is my budget. This is the type of vehicle that I'm interested in. Mm. What can I afford for my budget? Mm. Um, mm. You know, then everybody knows what direction we're moving in. We can then make recommendations and sure, say, sure. for that money, that's your options. Mm. Um, if you, there's various finance options. So uh, a straightforward outright purchase might cost you 10,000 Rand a month, but there's, there's other options. There's residual values. Mm. There's deposits, there's the way it has recently launched a new thing which is called Kinto. I don't know um, that it's basically a rental scheme where you rent where you can rent a vehicle. Long term like for long term. Long four years, five years. Um, and it covers everything. It includes insurance, it includes tires, it includes all maintenance. So mm. if you say I can afford five thousand Rand a month you know, we can calculate a transaction for you. You're never going to own the car, but the trend lately, especially overseas, which which we'll get to South Africa, is people. It's all about mobility. Okay. Um, it's not about owning. Mm. It's not necessarily about owning. Mm, mm. I think a lot of people have made peace in their lives that they're going to have debt paying off Forever. a house. They're going to have debt paying for a car. Mm. So with the, with the new options that's available, you've got the debt, you never own the vehicle, you've never got the responsibility or the, 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 the expenses, the unforeseen expenses, mm. because this covers everything from bumper to bumper, it covers wow. everything and you know what you're in for every month. Wow. Mm. So it's a safe option. There are limitation, limitations when it comes to kilometers travel. Okay. So it's okay. a I cannot tell you it's going to cost you X amount sure, it depends, for you it and the same for the next person because sure. it depends on conditions, it depends mm. on how you drive, where you drive, how much mm. you drive. But there's, there's so many options available. So that's why I say the important thing is people must have a budget mm. and know what they can afford. And, and we can then discuss that and, and give the right options and the right mm. advice. Mm. Quite interesting. I really didn't know about that. I learned something new today. <laughs> It's I'd, something I'd, that they recently launched, no. I would say, during the middle of last year. Oh, okay. Um, so it's not it's it's starting on. to take off sure. because it's, as I say, it's, it's a new concept for the South mm, African market. market. Mm, um, mm. But especially in Europe, um, it's becoming more and more popular. Mm, quite interesting. I think that's something that maybe we can explore and maybe we can have a further conversation um, just to unpack it, its ins and outs, what exactly yeah. it's, it, but not not today. Thank you for, for letting us in on that one. Um, you know, also when, when someone goes to buy a new vehicle or to go to a dealership to buy a car, there's the issue of a deposit. And I remember when I was buying my, my car, my first car, I actually had a deposit and it did not really make a difference. I don't know if it was small or what was going on, but um, does a deposit really make a difference in terms of your monthly repayments? It does. Um, if, uh, just to give you a round figure, sure. for every 40,000 Rand deposit that you put down, mm -hmm. your installment, depending on the term and the interest rate, but just a very rough figure, your your installment comes down by about a thousand rand. Oh, okay. Um, as I say, don't... It's, it's rough, it's, it's, it's rough. Very, it's just <laughs> it's very give, rough. It's just yeah. to give an the example. listeners an, it's idea, an, example. Yeah. an idea, but it's, it's more or less a thousand rand sure. depending on various circumstances. So mm. uh, definitely, yes, the deposit, the more deposit you put down, the less your installment <laughs> is. Um, right, people right. don't necessarily have the deposit. Yes. Um, or they don't want it, they want to use the money for something else. Mm, mm. Um, but the deposit definitely 
It does help. Lowers out. your installment. And what what uh, with cars does the trick? I'm just thinking of this question from the top of my head as we're talking about this. From from the cars side, I know people you know will talk about it from the houses angle, like buying a house where if you pay a little bit more every month and um, if you pay on a certain date, <laughs> then you're able to pay your house quicker, um, paid off quicker in less time. Um, I don't know if, if the money matches, but I don't know if it applies in the vehicle financing space as well. Vehicle finance in that aspect works different to, to how the house, house finance. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, your interest get, gets calculated. Mm. Um, if you pay instead of 5,000 rand a month, you pay 5,500 rand a month. Okay. You're gonna pay the vehicle off quicker Okay. But you're not going to save any interest. Whereas on a home loan, you do. if you pay, because the interest gets calculated differently. Oh. Um, if, you, if you've got extra money, I would rather, and, and I'm not giving any advice, I'm not allowed to give any advice, but <laughs> save the money until you've got a lump sum and then maybe go to the bank pay and say, a lump right, sum. pay sure. that. But, but there's no... Saving in terms of in interest. Saving. Oh, no, you're going to wow. pay it off quicker and, and that's about it. Mm, okay. And um, are there any vehicles that you're currently promoting that you uh, you know, are focused on pushing into the market or that's new or whatever? There's nothing specific that we, we're pushing at the, at the moment. moment. Okay. Um, Everything is available. Everything is open for discussion. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> running a specific special on a specific on, on a vehicle. Car. Okay, but, sure, uh, sure. We we are open to talk, and we can create a special if somebody's in need of a special. <laughs> okay, um, a special ca- might just be created based on negotiation. Eh? Yeah. It's, okay. You know, we can not necessarily. Instead of giving you the discount, we can give you extended warranty or extended service plan. You know, different options. value for money sure, um, sure. instead of actual cash, if I can put it that way. Right. And um, I mean, as I don't know how many years you have been um, the dealer principal here. I've been here in Queenstown for 10 years now as dealer principal. Oh, my word. At, at Toyota. And before that, uh, 13 years at Toyota in Neisner. Mm. Uh, so I've been with Toyota in total for 23 years. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. And, and then that this qualifies you, you know, as a leader in the space um, and in the industry um, to, to, to kind of give advice um, as to what is the key ingredient that you use to ensure that, you know, your operations, you know, the business itself, wherever you're planted, um, you are able to ensure that, you know, everything happens smoothly, if, if there's anything <laughs> like that. But what have you learned over the years and being exposed to the space that you can share, especially with someone maybe who is starting out in the space, maybe a new dealer principal um, who has just gotten a, a position like that and they are trying to find the, their, their, their rhythm and stuff. What advice would you give in that space? Look, I think specifically Toyota, I've, I've never worked Outside, for sure. another franchise. I've mm-hmm. worked at, for a used car dealer. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Toyota is a very organized company. They give you very clear guidelines. Mm. Um, if you follow their guidelines, things work. Mm. Um, it's, it's a, you know, Toyota is now 45 consecutive years of the number one selling vehicle in South Africa. Mm. Um, I think it's actually 47 or 48 maybe, but... It's leading. You know, there's proof in the pudding. Um, okay. Their systems work. Their, their backup to us as dealers is incredible. Mm. They people orientated. Um, they, they put people first in all mm. aspects. Mm. And, and that's important. And as I say, us as MMG have got clear glide guidelines from our head office. Okay. And if you follow those rules, things work. Um, mm. You've just got to impl- implement them right. And, and the most important thing, which is not always easy to be successful in, but we, we try our best as customer service. Okay. Um, you need to to put your customers first. And, mm. and customers, like in all industries, the customer's not always right. <laughs> um, so there's so gonna, 
someone might challenge you with that because the the saying is always the customer is always yeah. right. But that, that's incorrect. Eh? So the customer is not in reality. In reality, yeah. but it's, it's a principle, right. and, and there's going to be differences. But we we need to talk it about True. it and yeah. and and come to the solution. Okay. Uh, nobody's perfect. We we all strive to be, but mm. unfortunately, we all. Fault from time to again, we're human. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We're not living in a perfect world, but we try our best. <laughs> and the human, the, the human side of it, you know, to, just va- going past it. I, I mean, you can have all the policies and the systems in place in terms of structuring the organization. Then there's people. There's that. There's that um, other side. And I'm, I mean, I might as well ask you as well um, that. You know, whatever policies and systems might be there, they don't prepare you enough for people. I don't know, do they? You know, for, no, for the different characters of employees that you're going to get, um, from the different uh, the responses that you're going to get from people. You're telling them to do this, they don't want to do it for whatever reason and, and things like that. You know, also, you know, tell us what you learned around the human aspect, the, the um, human resource management side, the personnel side. How do you make sure the... The, the t- I mean, I have I have used um, your Toyota specifically, like only your Toyota. I mean, it's the closest. It's the only one around mm-hmm. the space that I'm in. And I've never had problems with people from the person who inspects my car to... I've never, you know. But how do you get that where people are all giving that, you know, a beautiful service? They, they're not frowning. They're always willing to help. How do you get that down, get that right? Uh, or do you pay them a lot of money? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. Uh, I think it's, uh, first of all, you've got to employ the right people. Okay, um, sure, sure. Mm. Which, to be honest, in an interview, uh, an interview and a CV can be very deceiving because I can put on a CV whatever I want. Mm. Um, so you've got to try your best to to get references to employ the right people. Okay. Um, and I think I've got the right people. Okay. Um and then you you train them. Um, okay. They make mistakes. Mm-hmm. You help them, right? Toyota South Africa, as a, as a franchise, provides a lot of training sure, in all sure. all aspects of the important. business. Mm. Um, personal skills, um, you know, the actual job description skills, everything. Mm, mm. So we invest a lot of money in training. Sure, um, sure. Training is compulsory, mm. um, and and experience mm. you know as i say people make mistakes yes. and uh, as a team we we correct the mistakes and we look at the solution and we carry on and we we solve the problems mm. and and through that process people learn and There's and they adopt and they and they change their attitudes but wow. i've got good people oh, wow. <laughs> team i like that word team as well um, because it means you know you work you you embrace the people that work for you that you work with as you know you are a team so you have to kind if, of work if you together. don't work as a, as a team you won't succeed ne? because everything integrates into the one yeah um, it's all so if, if there's internal fighting it won't work mm. it, it can't work True, true. The uh, one support, the one department supports that. The, and we, the one, you, nobody can go without that. Mm, mm, true, very, very true. And also, um, what advice would you give to young people who, um, you know, want to explore getting into business? Maybe they're struggling to get a job. They're struggling. They've got a qualification. They don't know where to go. I mean, we know in South Africa that there's high unemployment rates and all that. And they're held back by fear. How would you encourage um, you know, someone to move past that. Maybe even drawing from your own experience, you know, at times when you've been afraid, but you've pushed through it. It's, it's very difficult, especially currently. Our economy mm. is, is, is very tough. Yeah. The interest mm. rates didn't do any of us a favor. Yeah. Um, at least last week they didn't raise them again. But it's, it's a reality. But, uh, but things are tough in general. Yeah. And uh, the unemployment is a huge problem. Sure. Um, how to overcome that, it's not for me to answer, I can't answer. <laughs> okay. um, I wish there was an easy solution, but, uh, mm. you know, it, it's, how does a, a young person gain experience or overcome his fear if 
if he doesn't have the opportunity, opportunities to, to okay to, to be actually out there. do to do to do the job, mm, mm. and that's what what makes it difficult. Um, mm. If if you're in a position, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. Okay. Um, don't be scared to make mistakes. Okay. Everybody's going to make mistakes, and and that's the only way you're going to learn. Mm, mm. And and by doing that, I mean I'm not saying deliberately do something that you know is wrong. <laughs> um, real mistakes. Real, real mistakes. mistakes. But things happen, and uh, you can't undo it. Mm. It's happened. So deal with it. Fix the problem and learn out of it, and that's the only way you're going to overcome your fear mm. and grow. Okay. Because if you if you're going to be scared to do something for the rest of your life, you're never going to move past that point. Going to be stuck. To grow. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. So overcome your fear, and and you're going to make mistakes along the way. And it's okay. That's okay. You'll mm. learn. You, you're yeah. only going to come out a better person at the end of the day. <laughs> That's very deep, very profound. <laughs> anyway, before I let you go, Chris, um, if someone wants to go to the dealership, I don't think there's... A, okay, no, let me not make that assumption. But if someone who's listening wants to come to the dealership or wants to make contact, wants to reach out, wants to ask something, you know, how do they contact you or the dealership? Well, look, they can... Uh, the landline, I can give you the phone number, sure. 045 mm -hmm. 839 mm -hmm. Right. Uh, they can contact me directly on my cell phone, 083 mm -hmm. 462 mm -hmm. 8840. Um, or they can send me an email. Yes. Chris G, C H R I S G, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at MMG. Yes. Dot Africa. Africa. I won't be able to help every time, but uh, I can put the person on the right on the right track and direct him, <laughs> direct him to can the guide, right person. Can be a guide, yes. can be a compass. <laughs> right. I won't be able to service his car, but I'll get him to the service department. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Chris, for coming through. This has been Thank a beautiful you. conversation. Thank you very much for inviting me. It was a pleasure being here. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful conversation with Chris Hrunling. Um, He's the dealer principal at MMG Toyota Queenstown. If you want to make use of their services, call in, um, ask for the questions about maybe a car that you want to buy, you can try them out on 0458393044 or you can um, send him an email at, uh, at chrisg at mmg. Africa. Right now, um, we're going to take a short ad break. And when we come back, we're going to look at some of the things that he said. Um, quite an interesting conversation indeed. And we're also going to be going towards our market update. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>